What's going on Dark Souls 2 fans, Twister Don, back at it once again with another YouTube video here, this time talking about some pyromancy, and I've labeled this title uh, The Art of Pyromancy because I'm really excited to get back into something that I enjoyed so much in Dark Souls 1. Here you'll see me uh, fighting a few matches here in the Blood Covenant Arena, as uh, or not the Blood Covenant Arena, the Blue Sentinel Arena. Blood Covenant Arena, I maxed that out and got great cast fire on all that stuff, so... That's a good thing. And uh, I am on a slightly high level character here. I think I'm like level 255 or something. But the reason being is I, I just wanted to try out the pyromancy. And, uh, you know, have more, I guess, attunement slots and stuff. And, and to try out, have more castings, I guess you would say. So I know if it would be worth it to make a 150 on. And for the most part, I'm, I'm really digging the pyromancy here. So check out this uh, these few clips here. And uh, the main thing about being a pyromancer is, if you a pyromancer, I mean, if you watched any of my Dark Souls One videos, you would uh, know that I really enjoy using pyromancy. And at first, you know, I've made one video, but I mean, in my opinion, it wasn't that good—a Dark Souls Two pyromancy video. I threw some music behind it, but at first, uh, I wasn't digging the pyromancy. But over the last, I guess, week, I've kind of just started practicing with it and just using nothing but that. And uh, I've definitely developed some some things that I that I really enjoy using. And you'll see here, like when it comes to the spells I was using, I was using Great Combustion, which I really like, Forbidden Sun, Great Chaos Fireball, and Chaos Firestorm, which I don't use a lot of Chaos Firestorm in these wide open areas, these one v ones, you know, just because it's so telegraphic and easy to avoid. But you definitely will see some uh, combinations here. I'll explain and. Uh, and when it when it comes down to it, you know I've got the Galvers ring on, just to protect from being Robius punished. And watch this combo right here. I mean, this right here brings me back to the days of Dark Souls One, where you overthrow the Gate Chaos Fireball. He rolls into punish. You hit him with a Forbidden Sun, the Great Combustion combo. And there there ain't no telling how many times I've done that in Dark Souls One, where like I said in this game, the Forbidden Sun to me, you know, it has a quick release. It's, to me, it's like Great Fireball was in Dark Souls, or Great Chaos Fireball in Dark Souls One. You know, you had that quit release, and if people were running in at you, you could throw it at the ground, and they would roll right into it, and you could follow up with a great combustion and do at least, at least 1,000 damage every time. So that's something that I've uh, really enjoyed doing, and you saw it right here again on this guy. So me being able to punish some of these guys with that combination is, is something that's getting back into my repertoire of attacks, I guess you would say. Um, but other than that, like I said, I, you know, I had the Gowers ring on for... You don't want to be punished. You don't want to be roll BS. That's one weakness of somebody who's using magic. Like you see here, I miss a roll BS on this uh, thunder or this lightning spear. Um, one weakness of the magic is being roll BS, so you got to be wary of that. My primary means of engagement in, in these battles is definitely the pyromancy hand and the left hand. So I don't really don't care what weapon I'm using the round. I think I'm using an S dock here. I was using a bandit or a, not a bandit. Uh, what's that dagger? Shadow dagger or something in order to punish people this for backstab damage if like if I wanted to do a roll BS but I wouldn't really I'm not really going for a lot of backsteps here you know just trying to uh, practice my pyromancy so I've, I've got 99 attunement on this build um, I could easily like if, if I made a 150 I would go down to 50 attunement that would take one spell away from I think each of my spells because it like I know at like 94 attunement you get like three forbidden suns which I equip. I probably I may have to get rid of something. I, I mean I don't know how my attunement slots would work out, but we would have to definitely see that. I probably may have to wear one of the rings that gives you extra attunement slots, but I definitely want to go with two forbidden suns with a hexer's hood at uh, 40. See 43 attunement that would give me six charges, which is more than enough. Well, it's right there at, around the comfortable range, I guess you would say. Then great chaos firewall would have five. Uh, if I up my team to 49, which I would go to 50, you know, it's a good even number there. And, uh, of course, Great Combustion is really what I'm enjoying. I'm really enjoying Great Combustion because it, uh, I'll, the way it casts, the, the, the flame will linger in the air a little bit. And if you roll into it or get hit by it at any time that it's in the air, you will take damage. So, I can throw out a Great Combustion and, and it stuns really good like I can hit people most times with two great combustions before they can roll away 
So if I can manage to hit somebody with Forbidden Sun to Great Combustion to Great Combustion, or even Forbidden Sun to Great Combustion to them roll away to me catch backstab, there's just a lot of different stuff I want to practice with. And um, so when it comes to Great Chaos Fireball, let me tell you, uh, I mean, that's a pain in the butt <laughs> kind of uh, spell to get. And it probably ain't worth all the kills you have to get. Unless you want to go, I mean, if you're in a new game, I think it's plus plus, you can buy the, you can buy the spell, but, anyways, it's, I have hit people with this spell with upwards to 18, 1900 damage before. It's definitely powerful. And Forbidden Sun used to be a lot more powerful, but I think they nerfed it a little bit, which is, which is okay. I'm telling you, Forbidden Sun is really easy to avoid. So is Great Chaos Fireball, but it's, it's about, like, what I'm going for, I'm going for, using their aggressive I guess nature to punish them and in some cases I get it in some cases I don't it just I mean it's gonna take more practice and I know that so like it seems like this guy I'm fighting here has and he was uh, I was only doing like 300 something on great combustion and there I did 713 so I don't know if there's any kind of counter damage going on right there or what it is but like when somebody rolls into you I seem to do a pretty good solid 700 and something on most occasions and that's a chunk of that's a chunk of life you know you're doing 700 with one L1 attack or one R1 attack I mean that's most more than most weapons so I've been having really good success using the pyromancer and uh, you gotta watch out for stuff like that they'll throw in the stuff the wrong direction so like I said it really doesn't matter what weapon you have in the right hand I mean honestly if I really wanted to if I really wanted to uh, use a good weapon I'd probably have the science halberd on just because there's some of these guys that are kind of aggravating if they're really dodgy I guess maybe they have high agility or whatever and then having that extra melee will uh, will definitely help but I'm not worried about that right now I want to get a lot of practice in you know a lot of reps in with the pyromancy and then I'll go with what weapon what weapon I will choose to supplement the pyromancy because I don't know you know, when it comes to me focusing on optimizing the build, I don't know. You know, I don't know what's more useful. Is you know, when you get into this range, should I hit you with a great combustion or should I hit you with a science halberd? You know, right now I would say I would hit you with a science halberd. But if you look at a stun like that right there, you get 1,280 damage in two seconds. I mean, that's a little better than what the science halberd can provide. Because in a lot of cases, I, a lot of people can roll out of the science halberd in two hits. There's some people you'll stun three or four times, but then, you know, the way your stamina works, it's, like I said, it's it's something you'll have to think about and something that I want to practice more with my pyromancy before I, I choose a weapon that uh, complements it accordingly, I guess you would say. Because I know there's going to be people that uh, you can't do this against or you can't do that against, but it's all, it's all uh, up to how you make your build and kind of tactics and strategies you're going for and your play style I guess so this guy right here is uh I hit him with two great combustions earlier because he tried to trade I'm telling you when people try to trade with a great combustion it's it's not good for him like and it wasn't good for him at least and then he tried to be super aggressive I hit him right in the face with forbidden sun so um uh I'll tell you one thing that uh, I'm thinking about is like when when I played Dark Souls One, you know I had I had a, a certain amount of spells that I used for the pyromancy. And it usually was I had Great Combustion slash Black Flame or whatever, and then I had Great Fireball, Great Chaos Fireball, then Fire Tempest. So I had about four at all times. You know I usually run with nineteen attunement, no more than uh, no more than nineteen attunement usually. And in the in the later stages of PvP, when it when it got into the later stages, you know I would use a little Fire Surge for for a more, uh, I guess, uh, serious, serious deals, quote unquote, on the serious, but um, yeah, in most cases, in most cases, I knew I had the dexterity down to, you know, be able to swap between those four spells whenever I wanted to, and whenever, on instinct, whenever my opponent would uh, either roll to me, roll away, and on that game, you had the ability to unlock and throw your fireballs manually. Which was handy, and I wish you could do that on this game. I, have, I haven't really practiced a lot with that. I may get into that. Uh, <laughs> hell, manual aiming, forbidden sun or something. I don't know. I don't know. It just seems like the, the angles are a little different on this game. But um, 
I mean, you got a, it's a different game engine. And there you see me doing a ton of damage with that Gate Chaos Fireball. And that was just a trade. And it seems to be a good trading spell. And it's not something that I go for a lot as trades. But sometimes it happens. So, really, I don't know. What do y'all think about this Pyromancer video? I hope that, uh, hope that you liked it. I don't, I find that, uh, Tried to hit this guy right here with that combo, but it didn't work out. Tried to finish him with uh, Forbidden Sun the Great Combustion, but I'm looking for combinations. Any kind of thing that would, uh, any kind of technique that you have to offer that you want to suggest for me to use, definitely, uh, definitely hit me up. And I want to get into, this was just my first showcase. This is pretty much me learning, me experimenting with these pyromancies. It's not, I'm not saying that, uh, that uh i mean i'm probably using them if anybody's actually good at them i'm probably using them wrong but i really enjoyed using them here and i've like i've said i've this is just a couple of clips of me using them over the last probably three or four days so i really want to get into some unlocked play and uh i don't know what weapon i use to have be a good unlocked weapon to complement the pyromancy but I really enjoyed the unlocked Pyromancy, Fury Sword, and Dark Souls 1. And it's not that I'm trying to copy or bring back uh, what I had in Dark Souls 1 that I enjoyed. But in the same case, it is. You know, I mean, I really want, you know, a, uh, your own personal play style and own personal uh, things that you enjoy. And anybody, any player's got that, you know, something that that's, uh, they got their own favorite items and weapons and spells and stuff. And and they uh, kind of give themselves a uh, image in that regard but that's pretty much it here hopefully these uh, hopefully you'll see a few more pyromancy videos in the future and maybe I'll start doing some invasions and uh, killing some gankers but until next time Twister Don is out